In this video, I will share with you 9 ways through which you can attract abundance to yourself. 1. Stay optimistic One of the most exceptional rules of the universe is that like attracts like. This rule works perfectly within your thoughts and experiences. Although it may be challenging to stay positive in certain circumstances, it is one way through which you can not only get rid of bad situations but also attract good things in excess. Judging by Winston Churchill's famous quote that a pessimist sees a difficulty in every opportunity, an optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty, optimism is a feeling that everyone should embrace. Being optimistic doesn't mean being oblivious to everything that is going on around you. It simply means understanding that even though things are bad now, they won't always be wrong and so keeping positive energy which in turn magnets abundance. 2. Show Kindness Professional Canadian ice hockey player Maxine Legacy once asserted that an egoist lives in poverty, a kind person lives in abundance. Contrary to the perception of many individuals, you do not show kindness when you have abundantly. Instead, it is in showing affection that you will have an abundance. The best way to attract more blessings into your life is to give to others. Have you ever thought of why many wealthy men are philanthropists and social entrepreneurs? They have understood the power of being kind to others. There is always a certain feeling of joy and a sense of purpose in your heart when you can put a smile on someone else's face. Someone whom you know cannot reciprocate your kind gesture. When you show kindness to the widow, orphans, vulnerable and just anyone in need, your purse does not run dry. Instead, the universe refills it until it overflows. 3. Express gratitude at all times Many people assume that the only time to show gratitude is when a colossal deed is done to you. Yet they fail to perceive the most enormous favor in life, being able to see a brand new day. A story was once told of a man who concluded that his life was miserable and the only way to be free from the misery was to take his life. He carried the last meal he had and went into the forest. He said, I will eat this last food first and then hang myself on the tree. He finished the food and climbed the tree but just as he was about to hang himself, he looked down and saw someone licking the empty pack which has contained his food. No matter how far back you think you are in life, there is someone who is struggling and praying to get to that position. Appreciation, they say, brings more blessings. When your heart is filled with gladness and gratitude, abundance will come rushing into your life. 4. Meditation how often do you excuse yourself from the business of life and just spend some time alone? The power of imagination is one that you can use to your advantage. Take a few minutes of your time each day, preferably in the morning to envisage yourself surrounded in success and good fortune. For every negative image created in your mind, replace it with what you desire to happen to you. This act fills every atom in your body with a new and positive energy of endless possibilities. Apart from the refurbishing feeling that meditation brings, it gives you the avenue to quiet the storms in your heart and program your mind towards abundance. 5. Add value to the life of others Many people feel scared to share what they have with others because they presume that it will finish. In the world today, we have creative artists hiding their paintings, writers keeping their write-ups to themselves, individuals cancelling their ideas and even songwriters withholding their lyrics. They fear that if they let go, they will soon run dry. However, when you stand on the beach and watch the waves hit the shore, do you think there's any end to the water? There probably is an end, but it cannot be comprehensible. So, we conclude that seawater is endlessly abundant. So also, when you add value to others, you never run dry. There is an overflowing stream of creativity and ideas inside of you and it is in impacting the lives of others that you will begin to see the richness in you. 6. Don't get satisfied Except you are not human, your wants can never be satisfied. Why do you think that even with their wealth, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos and the rest are still working hard? It is because no matter the position you are in, there is still so much to be done. If you want abundance, then you dare not be satisfied. Well, you probably have been taught that is a vital trait that every human should possess. Oh yes, be content but do not get satisfied. Contentment means being grateful for what you have while striving to get more. But satisfaction means attesting that you are full 
and do not want more. If you do not wish to have abundance, then you can be satisfied. If you remain thankful and open, you can be satisfied. If not, remain thankful and open for more. 7. Use Affirmations I am abundant today is better than I may lack today. These two statements contain equal number of words. However, they send different messages to the subconscious mind and the universe. Here is a little trick you probably do not know. When you regularly make statements, your subconscious mind stores them. Those things stored in your subconscious tend to form the basis of your conscious thoughts, which in turn transcends into your blessings or curses that the universe grants you. The words you say can either make or mar you, and the choice is yours. If you want positive things to happen to you, then you should develop the habit of speaking positive words into your life. If you want abundance, use wealthy affirmations. 8. Live your full potential Do you remember Solomon Grundy? Oh well, let me refresh your memory with one of those nursery rhymes we sang without understanding. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday, took ill on Thursday, grew us on Friday, died on Saturday, buried on Sunday, and that was the end of Solomon Grundy. Many people today live exactly like Solomon Grundy. Did I just say live? No, they don't live, they only exist. You cannot attract abundance to yourself when you do not pay attention to the void in your heart. Indeed, there is always emptiness in your heart when you are not living in full capacity. Many people realize it, but they get so caught up with other activities that they do not pay attention to that yearning in their soul. If you must attract abundance to yourself, you must discover your potential and live it to the fullest. 9. Stop giving excuses Excuses are only going to stand as a barrier to your success in life. Hence, if you want to attract abundance, it is of utmost importance that you discipline yourself to accept responsibilities instead of giving excuses. Your desires, goals, aspirations all move you in a specific direction in your life. But excuses can pull you in the complete opposite direction. People who give excuses are those who are too scared to take responsibility for their wrong actions. Excuses are never the reality of things. You create them, believe them, focus on them and allow them to defeat you in most cases. However, the good news is that just as you can create them, you can also let go of them. Whatever reason you blame your lack of abundance on, you can lose it. Whatever is needed to produce richness in your life is within you. The universe works for you through the law of attraction and energy. Hence, the power to command abundance is in your hands. Use it.